Welcome back to The Local Vibe. Every Friday, film critic Dale Pollock is sharing the movies and TV shows you'll want to see just in time for the weekend and then the ones you'll want to skip. So today we are going through a wide variety of genre, genres. Dale, good morning to you. Great to have you as always. Good morning, Audrey. Good to be with you. So let's first talk about the one and only Top Gun. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick. Well, we've been waiting a long time for this film. It was originally supposed to come out in 2019, and the pandemic delayed it and delayed it again and then delayed it again. But it's finally here, and it is a corker. This is better than the original, which I think has actually improved through nostalgia. This film is really gripping for its entire two hour and 11 minute length, and it's all Tom Cruise. Whatever he's using to stay young, I want some of that. <laughs> That's funny. We'll have to but give him a call. Really, he, he just doesn't age. He's remarkable. And his physical endurance in this, you know, there's even a silly kind of beach football scene so he can show up that his ripped body is as good as his young co stars <laughs> And if you enjoy Tom Cruise, you will love this movie. Miles Teller is very good as the son of Anthony Edwards' character in the first film. The flying sequences are unbelievable. They used IMAX cameras to film these. The sound and the picture are really unparalleled in this kind of a movie. And, you know, there are films that really stick with you. And this mission, and this, excuse me, Top Gun, does this mission impossible will be out later in the year mm -hmm. okay yes this i definitely agree we'll get rave reviews now tell us about a documentary you have for us that's the george carlin's american dream and if you remember george carlin he was a very big comedian in the 70s 80s and 90s he died in 2008 at the age of 71 but this goes back and surveys his entire career many of us remember him for his routine about the seven dirty words you can't say on television well that's pretty nostalgic right now it's in the past but carlin's humor became increasingly incisive he really skewered politicians moral guardians he took on everybody and if you want some laughs and some interesting U.S. history, check out this two-part two part documentary on HBO Max. It's called George Carlin's American Dream. All right, and then what about if folks want to start a new TV show? Oh, I'm always trying to look for new series to watch. I am not the biggest fan of dating series, but I really <laughs> fell for this one called Love on the Spectrum. There were three mm. seasons of this as a British show, and this is the first season of it as an American show on Netflix. And six autistic individuals try to date and sort of find the right person for them. And all six are really interesting people. They all have varying degrees of autism. And even though dating shows can be pretty political in who people pick, in this one, it's really from the heart. And you really root for these people to find the right person. And autism is still not widely understood. This series gives a great insight into it, into the six individuals who are all quite different. And I found myself really moved and affected by this show in a way I did not expect from a dating series. Oh, Dale, I'm glad that you brought that up. You said it's six episodes, right, of the season? Yes, yeah, six episodes on Netflix. They're each half an hour long, okay. so it's a very easy series to absorb. Yeah, definitely, and educational as well. Dale, we appreciate your time. Have a fantastic weekend. We will see you next week with more recommendations with What to Watch with Dale.